Kao. Kao. Berlin News in English. From the city of Berlin, where there's three times as many new residents as new houses, this is Radio Spekhoff and I am Joran Mandek. I'm Joel Dalroy. Statistics show that Berlin's population grew by 1.4%, while housing supply grew just by 0.05% last year. Ah, so maybe that's why it's so hard to find an apartment these days. Berlin's R2G coalition is in crisis just two months after they got together. This is because the mayor, Michael Müller, from the SPD, has forced the resignation of Professor André Holm, who had been picked by Die Linke to be the city's housing secretary. The sociologist was a controversial choice because he had radical anti-investor ideas about how to reduce the housing crisis. Um, and also because when he was 18 years old, he trained to become an officer for the Stasi, the secret police of East Germany. Now, for all you millennials out there, the Stasi is like the NSA, but they use typewriters and microphones instead of hacking your Snapchat. Uh, later, when he got a job at Humboldt University, Holm failed to properly inform them about uh, his Stasi past. And for that mistake, the mayor demanded his resignation as housing secretary. And if that wasn't enough, he's now also lost his job at the university, prompting students to go on protest. Die Linke are furious about the mayor for bullying them around and their candidate. This could all have some serious coalition consequences. So, a man accused of working for a spying agency that trolled through people's records and ruining their lives has just had his career ruined by politicians trolling through his records. We'll be talking more about Andre Holm at our next live show. The KDW department store is a pretty popular place to pick up some expensive jewelry, especially if you're a burglar. The fancy mall has been robbed three times in the past few years. The latest break-in was at 7 a.m. on Saturday, January 14th. Axe-wielding bandits broke through the doors and smashed glass cabinets to steal a bunch of jewellery. They escaped in a black Mercedes that was later found burning in Schöneberg. Insurance company for the jewellery of Christ is offering a 50,000 euro reward for information. Back in December 2014, robbers held up KDW during opening hours and sprayed tear gas as they stole around 800,000 euros worth of expensive watches. Several robbers have since been caught, um, but the loot remains at large. And in 2009, burglars broke into Cardevere and stole jewellery worth 2 million euros. Evidence from a dropped glove led to the arrest of a pair of twins, but neither could be convicted as their DNA is too similar to pinpoint the exact perpetrator. Radio More crime news. Police have discovered the dismembered body of a 90-year-old pensioner in the freezer of his apartment in Prenzlauerberg. The body had been there for 10 years. The neighbors said that they had previously complained about a smell coming from the flat, but were ignored by both the building manager and the police, who threatened them with nuisance charges for calling the emergency line. Well, we did warn you that the police don't like you calling 110 unless it's very important. Um, apparently murder allegations aren't serious enough either. Police broke into the flat in January and found the body parts. A man has been charged with the pensioner's murder. It's alleged he was making withdrawals from his bank account the whole time. But the real story here is, um, there's an empty flat available in Prenzlauerberg, everybody. Radio